kids welcome back to another week of studying God's Word today is promotion Sunday and I just want to say congratulations to all of you who are going from one class to another so on the count of three one two three celebrate all right uh, normally in our class we would do fun activities and stuff like that but because of all the things that are going on just not able to do that right now so um, with that, I'm really happy that um, we're going to see you in new classes this week. And uh, now we're going to go to a, a video. It's going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing. We're going to take a break from the gospel um, adventures story that we've been going through and going into uh, just kind of a, a step back. Let me tell you a story from God's Word. 
One time, Jesus was teaching, and some people came up to him with a question. They said, Hey Jesus, what's the most important rule that God ever made? And so Jesus said, The greatest and most important rule in all of God's word is this. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And here's the second most important rule God ever made. Love other people as much as you love yourself. In fact, Jesus said that those two rules were so important that every other rule in the Bible depends on them. Wow! So loving God and loving other people must be pretty important for Jesus to say something like that. But how do you do that? Let's start with your mind. Your mind is important because everything you put in it is gonna affect your heart and soul. That's why you have to be careful about what you put in your mind. The Bible says not to have a mind like the world, but to renew your mind. One of the best ways to do that is to read God's Word as much as possible. You can also use your mind to learn about what God is doing around the world. For instance, did you know that there are people all around the world who have never heard of Jesus? So God sends all kinds of special people, missionaries and Christians from churches all over the world to go and tell them about Him. That's a pretty important job to have. Now, what about your soul? If you know Jesus, that's the part of you that goes to be with him forever in heaven when you die. But did you know that you can be with Jesus right now? It's called praying, of course. Just like you talk to people you love, talking to Jesus is a way to love him. He wants to hear everything about you, your hopes, your dreams, your thoughts, your fears, everything. And you know what? You can also pray for other people. You can pray for your family, you can pray for your friends that don't know Jesus, and you can pray for the missionaries all around the world and the people they're telling about Jesus. Praying for people is one of the best ways to love them. Speaking of love, what about your heart? Your heart is the part of you that controls the things you love and motivates you to do things. If your heart loves Jesus, you will want to do things that please Him. For example, did you know that those missionaries we talked about earlier need your help to do their job? They depend on the money they get from the Lottie Moon Christmas offering for food to eat, Bibles to give to people, and gas to put in their car to go tell people about Jesus. How much money do you think you can give? Can you think of any creative ways to raise money for Lottie Moon? But you can do more than just give to and pray for missionaries you can tell the people around you about Jesus, like the missionaries do. The people in your home, school, and community need to know about Jesus too. In fact, telling someone about Jesus is one of the best ways ever to love other people and love God. You might even want to talk to your parents or people in your church about going on a mission trip. That's one very exciting way to get to travel and tell people about Jesus. Who knows? Maybe someday God could call you to be a missionary in another country. But you can't do this alone. It will take all of us who love Jesus to share his good news. You, your friends, and your friends' friends could make a huge difference in a person's life who doesn't know Jesus. And remember, sharing about Jesus with people from other countries might be as simple as making a new friend at school who comes from far away. If you keep loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and loving other people, you never know what could happen. But one thing is for certain, God's gonna use you to do some amazing things. So what are you waiting for? The world needs you. All right, welcome back. Now in that video, we heard a lot about just following Jesus. What it does it mean to walk with Jesus? And we heard about loving God with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and saw different ways that that can play out in our lives. One of our greatest desires is for each one of you to learn to walk with Jesus, to love walking with Jesus. So I just wanna encourage you to do that Pick one of the things that they talked about in the video and put that into practice this week. Let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we just thank you so very much for Jesus who died on the cross to pay for our sins so that we could be in a relationship with you. Lord, I pray that you would fill our hearts with the desire just to walk with you, to know you the way that you want us to know you. And Lord, I pray that you would use us to share the good news of the gospel with those around us. We love you so very much. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next week.